Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. I'm your host as always, Mr. G, and today we're talking about quite possibly the most mysterious creature in this show. So, without further ado, I give you... Andrew Sarchus. Andrew Sarkis means Andrew's ruler, and it is unknown what family it belonged to, but we do know that it was related to hippos. It was a carnivore and it lived during the mid-Eocene in Mongolia. Andrew Sarkis was discovered in 1923 on an expedition led by the famous paleontologist Roy Chapman Andrews, and it was named the following year by Henry Osborne. Unfortunately, because Andrew Sarkis is only known from a single skull piece, getting an exact measurement is nearly impossible. In fact, because of a lack of body fossils, we have no idea what this thing even looked like. Current theories place Andrew Sarkis as being a relative to the extinct group of animals called Intelodonts, which I'll talk about in a later episode. It is currently believed that Andrew Sarkis was the biggest carnivorous land mammal. As mentioned in the fact list, Andrew Sarkis was an artiodactyl, or even toad ungulates, which is the group that includes deer, cows, basically any animal with hooves. Andrew Sarkis' close closest living relatives are whales and hippos. An interesting thing to note is that despite nowadays pretty much every artiodactyl being a herbivore, with the exception of some whales like orcas and sperm whales and basically every dolphin, it's interesting to note that before then, there actually were plenty of carnivorous ungulates. And that is weird to think about, that these animals we primarily associate with being herbivores were once had relatives that were objectively carnivorous. In conclusion, Andrew Sarchus is probably the most mysterious creature in this series, and until we find more fossils, we can never make any real conclusions to its appearance or behavior. Oh boy, now that we got all that out of the way, let's look at the card. Well, since Andrew Sarkis is so mysterious, it is pretty hard to describe whether or not this card is outdated or not. Although, it is mostly agreed that this whole Andrew Sarchus look like a wolf thing isn't valid anymore, as most paleontologists will tell you. Also, this card makes several objective claims about Andrew Sarchus, which it really shouldn't, like it gives it an exact measurement, even though we know almost nothing about Andrew Sarkis, so they really shouldn't have done that. So, I literally can't give this card a score, because we just don't know. Now let's look at Andrew Sarchus' appearances in pop culture. Andrew Sarkis appeared in the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder, where it's literally a wolf. I mean, just look at that. It is literally just a wolf. It also appears in Jurassic World, the game, where once again, it's literally just a wolf with a long tail. Why? It appears in the video game Carnivore's Ice Age. And finally, Andrew Sarkis appears in the in the TV show Walking with Beasts, where it's erroneously placed in Egypt, where in an actuality it lived in Mongolia. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the lizards that swam. Bye.